Hey cuties, welcome to Mimi Said What. I'm your host, Mimi Robinson, and this is TSB, my bougie bestie. Hello. <laughs> this is <laughs> Unfiltered Girlfriend Chatter <laughs> with a dose of TV and entertainment and a side of pop culture. So summer isn't officially here, but we're going to talk about it. feels some. like it though. It is hot. It's blue blazes out here. Man. Uh, I don't know if y'all are sweating your socks off, but it's hot here in the DMV, and it's only going to get hotter. It is. It is. My car said 105 today. I was mm -hmm. like, let's wrap this up. Take it inside. Uh -huh. I ain't going back outside. Mm -mm. That makes me sad. Like, I like the warm weather, but I like a nice day mm -hmm. with some with a sun and a breeze. With some yeah. air in the air. But I don't want, like, a thousand percent humidity no. and... I'm 100 suffering. degrees. I'm you suffering. can't enjoy that kind no. of heat. I don't no. like it. All right. So in the interest of us staying inside, why it's hot, <laughs> hot as hell outside <laughs> in AC, we got a few things to watch while we chilling inside waiting for the sun go down. All right. Then we can beat the streets. Okay. We got a little guest over here. He's sleep. We're going to see if he act right <laughs> to be determined. All right. So your birthday gift just went away Boom. and Mike Tyson and Jake Paul's fight was postponed until Friday, November 15th. Dang. They went way far with it. Like, Dang. From, no, from July, July to November. Yeah. And I don't know why. Do we know why? Well, okay. So a couple weeks ago, Mike Tyson like got sick from a, uh, while he was on a flight. Okay. They said it was ulcers. Mm. Um, I don't know has, the re that recovery time for an ulcer. I don't know. I don't know. But, but he ain't getting no Listen, yet. Mike posted to his Instagram and said, no, I'm not 100%, but I don't need to be 100% uh, to whip mm, his ass. And mm. I was like, touche, my guy. Okay. Touche. Come on, Iron Mike. Y'all know who y'all already know. So, <laughs> Mike was like, I want to make it clear that it ain't me. They making it mm. seem like it's me, but I could fight today. Okay, well, y'all heard the man. He said what he said. Also, <laughs> Mike keeps referring to this on his Instagram. He said, Jake's new wake date has been postponed to November 15th. Wake? Wake. I guess oh. he gonna wake up after he knock his ass <laughs> I said, not a wake oh. date. Okay. Or wake as in you dying? Right, y'all. Like, you sending this man on the glory? Because let's oh, not kill him. I guess it could be one or the other or both. No, let's not do that. It, mm. Let's not post about it. Let it it's premeditated, Maybe sir. Maybe he left it up for interpretation. That ain't gonna hold up. If he was questioned, he was just gonna be like, you know, I'm Listen, gonna knock, knock him out, out and then he gonna wake up. That's what the wake did. Let's not on the right side of the law. Come view me before the funeral. <laughs> before the funeral. Before the funeral. Who did the body? <laughs> Damn, come on, stay. <laughs> I think Lovey started it. <laughs> Who needed a, a nickname for a funeral? Nobody, no one. Black people. <laughs> black people. And I was like, you know, black black people. <laughs> You going to on so-and-so's few, girl? The few? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love and hate us so much. All right. Let's talk about Rihanna. Rihanna. Rihanna is out here maintaining her billionaire status. Okay, with a B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and solidifying it, uh, it's staying power by Fenty Hair. Were you surprised? Um, I was. I thought Fenty Hair would have been like wigs. Like that little one she had mm -hmm. on. I thought it was kind of cute. Like she plays around with her hair. Mm -hmm. She's had all kind of hairstyles and yeah. hair color. So when I first saw it along with the video, I was like, okay, maybe hair. But I didn't think hair products. And maybe it's yeah. because I don't really see her hair that often. Like we used to when it was short yeah, and cut. Yeah. But I don't know. It definitely see it makes sense with the fancy beauty, fancy skin yeah. brand. Yeah, I get it's that. It's the next logical step. Beauty, skin, hair. But it also It didn't seem like it fit her though. How did we get here? I don't know. I don't know. But who is who are we to question her? Listen. Because Miss Girl is a billionaire. So she's doing something right. And and she gonna keep getting my money, so <laughs> not for the hair stuff. Yeah, I, I'm. I don't need any. Of I'm that. not a hair product girl. No, I, I'm not. No. I'm lazy. See, so I got a head on. I need hair. Also, um, <laughs> so I'm not into <laughs> hair products. I'm not a skin girl because, 
lazy. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I but I know you like, my yeah, skin. I know you yeah. like the skin. Mm -hmm. Um, I do like Savage Finchy, which oh, I know yeah. you also. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm like, okay. Um, I'm sure to do well. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, her branding, her marketing, she didn't cut her hair off. She got little curls yeah, going. Yeah. She said she taking care of it. Yeah. Which I imagine all that stuff, you, celebrities, even regular people too, but celebrities mm -hmm. and stuff. All, all that stuff, stuff they do there. Yeah. yeah. The changes, the colors. Fried that to the side. Ugh, that's why Beyonce was trying to show y'all. No, I got hair under here. Yeah, yeah. Which she also put so out I think, I think that Rihanna was like, let me get in front of it. Because since yeah. they're going to be talking about my wigs, let me just show them that I do have some hair. Yeah. They were definitely like, so she did this video and you didn't see her hair initially. Mm. And I was like, And then she was like, got you, bitch. I got some hair there. Also, my man got hair. Maybe she was testing the products out on him and the baby. Perhaps. Perhaps. I don't know. Also, people are keep wanting her to put out new music. And I don't know why. I, I'm not, I don't dislike her music. I feel like the, at large, so many people have disliked her music. They talked so bad about her. And say she's she was not an amazing singer. Yeah. So where were y'all when she was putting out music and everybody was saying that she sounded terrible? Then she stopped putting out music and was like, okay, fine. And they're like, and now y'all so like, where's no, the music? But where's the music? Nah. When she announced that she was having that first baby, they were like, oh, I thought the baby was <laughs> maybe a metaphor for an album. <laughs> A baby was a metaphor for, for a baby. baby. A whole human person. And then she turned around and had another one. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, so we never get an album? I'm like, but were y'all waiting for an Please. album? Please. Because she ain't dropped an album in many moons. No, she did but the, she's still topping the charts, though, which is crazy. She did the one song for Black for, Panther, yes. mm -hmm. which I felt like should have held y'all over, at least gave mm -hmm. you something, but... I like her music, but we've clearly survived. Without it, it's fine. Same, like, yeah, I like it, but I'm not like, damn, she. Gonna, I don't think I'm yeah. like, damn, is anybody ever gonna yeah, put out another care. album? I'm generally not invested in that way. I think I've thought recently. I was listening to some old albums and just some older music, and I was like, damn, I wish the NDRE would put something out. I miss the Neo Soul era. Neo Soul music. and 90s R&B. Yeah. That, if I was to be interested about any genre or music, mm -hmm. that's where it would be. Yeah, I was like, oh, like that was such a good era in music. So good, we just keep listening to it over and over, <laughs> over again because we don't have any new ones. Like over and over, we, they ain't gave us any more. So, yeah. but also I, I see her more as a businesswoman. Now, yeah, and that's mm -hmm. probably also why I'm not like checking for her music. I think as far as like celebrities and the public, you become one thing to the public, and, and they, they are not gonna let it yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Like Chloe and Halle. Yeah. Them growing up has stirred up so much in people's really? spirits. It has. Like, they are grown. But that's almost like how people treat Kiki. Like, she's yes. still Akila she from Akila in the She, she is, is She is an grown. adult. Yeah. And people are like, oh, And not grown. even like a little young adult. No. Like. She's grown. Grown. Yeah. People so definitely think, keep you stuck. Yeah. Yeah. So. They they like that one thing that you did, and they want yeah. you to keep doing that one thing but forever. I think that as far as like like I said, the public when it comes to celebrities, they they just you gotta grow no matter what. But also, think. I feel like it's selective hmm. because nobody complains when Beyonce is like, "I'm gonna give y'all Ivy Park." Or um, like I do all that well. Oh, I know. <laughs> and, oh, remember what did she have before her and Tina? The House of Darion. Yeah, it's House of Darion. Mm -hmm. Um, so I feel like some people can get away with it. Her like, side projects don't really be getting. They don't be having no, no staying power. Which is Sometimes. interesting because it's like the Beyonce machine seems to be great at everything else but i don't feel like her products are a clear reflection of her mm. i feel like they are products possibly With created or branded but they don't they don't feel like her yeah. it doesn't feel like she created these things you get yeah. one photo shoot right before the drop and mm -hmm. that's it mm -hmm. like you don't hear about it again until yeah. the next photo shoot before the next drop there is a huge disparity i feel like between her as an artist and a mm -hmm. person 
and whatever brands mm-hmm. that she puts mm-hmm. out. Like, she doesn't seem connected to it. But like, because she's not connected she to isn't. anything. Yeah. So, like... She's so very, like... I think it will compare Beyonce to Rihanna. Rihanna is much more... Rihanna, let me say her name right. She's much more accessible. Yeah. Like, she... Whereas Beyonce is like an idea. Yeah. She's almost yeah. like a mythical figure. She's a silhouette and right. a of someone you right. will never ever see. She is the untouchables. Yeah. And Rihanna is not. She's relatable. She yeah. seems She's, more yeah. down right. and in tune. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Because all things being equal, it's like, okay, I, this is, I can relate to this person. This is a real person with mm-hmm. like, like flaws and she lets us in even a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas Beyonce, you just don't never know from one day to the next. No, and and it's like, is she real? Does she actually? But exist? even like, let's say Tracy Ellis Ross, right? Mm-hmm. We we met her for acting, mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. though she's Diana's daughter. You mm-hmm. don't want to fall, my guy. Um, but even with her hair products, like you you see her, you she see her with them. them. She, uses she them, talks yeah. about them. Yeah, even in interviews and stuff, like it's a part of her and her mm-hmm. brand. Mm-hmm. Not that she's just a spokesperson. Yeah. So yeah. it feels genuine or even like kevin hart whatever partnership he got what is it is it tommy john it's some draws and he also has maybe it's fabletics or something something along those lines Mm -hmm. like he talks about them he Mm -hmm. wears them yeah he tells his friends about it like Mm -hmm. you see a continuation of it like come to my comedy show but also yeah Yeah. like i drink this so check out my alcohol or my clothes or whatever Mm -hmm. and you don't get that vibe from no, her when it comes no. to her products. Um, and while she is by no means really hurting for money, um, business has been good for Rihanna. She yeah. don't never need to put out any music Not again. Not another thing. If she doesn't want to, she Not can just push thing. her products. Whereas B is making her money from her music and not her product. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's it interesting. is. Yeah. I don't know how people pick and choose, but whatever. So Eddie Murphy Mm -hmm. is returning to the screen and Beverly Hills Cop as Axel Foley. Uh Who asked for this? Doesn't matter. I'll take it. I'm excited. Thank you very (laughs) much. Whoever asked for it, I appreciate you. (laughs) But I was like, hmm, I wonder how they got here. So the first one came out in 1984. Uh And then the second one came out in 87. So many moons ago. <laughs> Girl. Literally, a when lifetime. I was, when I was in single digit ages. <laughs> Same. The second one came out in 87. And then the third one in 94. Here's what I didn't know. One came out in 2013. It was a TV movie. It starred Eddie Murphy. And the premise of that one was about his son, Aaron Foley. Um... And he was trying to escape living, like, in his father's shadow. So, oh. he had the same career. And Aaron was played by Brandon T. Jackson. Mm-hmm. And I was like, so who watched that? Mm-hmm. Oh, he was, um... You ever seen Big Mama's House with Martin? Unfortunately, yes. Um, he was the son in one of those many sequels of Big Mama. He played the son. Was he the son? I will. Not his biological son, word, but he Gloria. was. They were, like, at a college or something. And okay. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what else he was in, but he's been in quite a quite a bit of things. But I don't know that anybody watched that movie in twenty no, thirteen. Didn't even know it existed. Well, you said it was made for TV. I, I yeah, that. and Eddie Murphy was in it. I feel Who like knew? did it come out around the time Shrek came out? Because I feel like that might have overshadowed First of all, it. Shrek is my shit. Okay. I love, Shrek. I, love I quote it Donkey. so. Frequently. Parfait? I ain't never <laughs> met nobody who don't like parfait. Oddly enough, oh, I don't like parfaits. Oh, me too. I do. Oh, oh no, yeah. I don't. No. What? So, what is the thing that he says where he's like, and when he's talking about the gas that was eking out of my butt oh. that day? <laughs> Every time. I, I say that like... so much. It's so stupid. Because why? Donkey shares his random thoughts. Yes. And I think that's what resonates. For okay. Us. Yes. Yes. Because because it's just it comes up and it comes out. And <laughs> yes. he don't care. He don't care at all. Mm-hmm. He loves you, mean it, but mm-hmm. he, but he mm-hmm. doesn't care. Um I was shocked by this. One, so we saw Eddie Murphy in Candy Cane Lane yes. last Christmas, which, yes. I, which enjoyed. I enjoyed. Yeah, that was yeah. good. It was funny. I watched it a few times. 
We definitely enjoyed him in Dolomite a few yeah, years oh before. My goodness, oh yes. my god, that yeah. was that was so good. Yes, it was. <laughs> it felt like old Eddie Murphy. That was our first introduction to um, what's her name? Who? Oh, Divine uh, Joy. D- Davon. Davon Joy. Yes. yes. Davon. That was yes. our first introduction. And I she loved her. It. It. Oh, my gosh. She was, was spicy so, and vulgar. Yes. That's my kind of woman. Oh, my goodness. She reminded me of my sister. Spicy and vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way to be. That is it. <laughs> we it. definitely fell in love with her. And then Candy Cane Lane, we fell in love with... Um, the big girl. I know her name. It's her last name something Knock. What is her name? What does she play? Oh, and Candy Kayla, she oh, was a news reporter. What is yes. her name? Uh, is it Danielle? Is it Danielle Warnock? I think is it's Danielle. Okay, yeah, perhaps. Okay, I don't know. Absolutely love her. Yes, her Instagram is one of the best things. It's on, a good time. On, 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 it's it's a really, I yes, think her name is her. Danielle. Um, um, but and she's married to a very Prince Harry looking. <laughs> Red hair, right, white nah. blue. Yeah. <laughs> she got a ginger. Yeah, she got herself a little hairy. <laughs> Let yeah. me find out. Eddie got a thing going on with these uh, big, beautiful black women. Okay, come on. I like that. Out. I love that for them. Um, So this movie is coming out, and it's supposed to be uh, his daughter's life was threatened for a family reunion mm. that includes old pals, John and Billy, to uncover some sort of conspiracy. And it's coming to Netflix on July 3rd. Okay, so straight to streaming. That's only a few weeks away. They, they have mild expectations because they were like, not the theaters. That's we'll too send much. It, <laughs> we'll send it to the streaming services. Okay, I'll take it. I'm going to watch it. I, I, I enjoy the Beverly Hills Cop franchise. So It was so I long love. ago, I don't really remember a whole lot. I liked... My favorite Eddie is 80s and 90s Eddie. Oh, yeah. He was definitely in his prime. Like... Raw. My very favorite, very favorite Eddie Murphy movie is The Golden Child. I hate that movie. Oh, my God. I, I, you know what changed you, you know what ruined it for you me? Just, you've taken a You know what ruined it for Monsters. me? Monsters. No, The Blood in the Oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the Blood in the Oatmeal. I was like, what kind of movie is this? Like a very... Monster, I don't even remember like that. the devil. I don't know, whatever. I don't remember, what? <laughs> I remember the blood in the oatmeal. I can't put the spoon in. Scr- what? <laughs> Throw the whole movie away. Throw the whole movie away. Uh, Y'all tell so me what good. happens later. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> like, I was literally dead. my favorite. It's my favorite. Uh, I want the night. <laughs> I have not seen the movie since. I've never tried watching it. Literally again. watched it just a couple weeks ago. Really? Mm-hmm. That child yeah. probably grown with grandkids. And he is a she. Oh. Mm-hmm. I think I did know that. Yes. Because culturally, they shaved everybody's head. Yeah. It's huh. a girl. Well, well, then she got grandkids. Probably. <laughs> she's Because that she's was, I don't remember when it came out. It was a long time. I know it was a kid. It was in the 80s for sure. It's my favorite. I feel like I had no. I feel like it. as a black person, like that's a hot take. I felt like I was. Everybody up. loves coming to America, which I love, but yeah. it's not my favorite. Yeah. My favorite is the Golden Child. Ooh. I think if I had to pick a favorite, Eddie Murphy, even though I do, coming to America is an anomaly. It's a thing in and of itself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I like him more in family animated kids stuff. Mm. I love Daddy Daycare. That shit was chaotic Hated and hilarious. It. Hated it. Really? Hated it. I feel like that's how my care for children like in real life. The I, and I just it's never very have. It, I don't like that like idea of men babysitting their own kids and not knowing how to take care of them. Because what the fuck? <laughs> Weren't you here? Sure, upsets my spirit. How, society gives them a pass. It does. They, they definitely do. We need more Debbie mothers. Deadbeat mothers. Oh, like, Debbie. Like, no, I thought you said Debbie. I no, was like, who the hell is Debbie? I don't know her. We need more Debbie. More of y'all need to leave your kids with their daddy. <laughs> so they can learn. We need some balance in the world. It's too late for me, sis. But Neither. somebody else. Somebody else. The new one. Please that take one. up the mantle. <laughs> Restore balance to the world. Ladies, kids. Because these men are out here tripping. These men. There's a, the one girl, she's like a, a an influencer. 
skinny little black girl. Mm -hmm. We've seen her looking crazy with her hair on the internet. But anyways, whatever. I don't know her name. She had a couple kids with a dude. And I think they got divorced. Maybe they were married. They got divorced. Whatever. They're not together anymore. Uh -huh. And she was like, take these kids. Oh, so I he think has, I know who you're talking he about. He has custody of the children. And people were all up in arms. But why? Because they they're do it all kids. the time. They're, they're his kids Men too. do it all the time and leave the mother as the custodial parent. Uh -huh. Bye, nigga, take these kids. <laughs> they yours too. They was yours before they was mine. They were. You had them first. You was the one toting them around. And you can have them last. <laughs> Keep toting them around. Good day. <laughs> Good day, sir. <laughs> the heels and his good father's mm -mm. Take your kids. be a father <laughs> oh my god so we went to the mall i told you we went to that uh in uh, uh. on uh saturday at tyson's right so we were coming around like it's a little starbucks under the escalator mm -hmm. and so we were coming around to go up the escalator and it's this dad there he's got his two daughters he must be like six feet at least mm -hmm. and the daughters are like toddlers mm -hmm. and one of them is literally hanging on to his calf like so he's trying to walk and he can't and he says to her get off we're going to fall she don't get off she double down and wrap her legs around <laughs> and her arms and he's got stuff in his hand he's got another little one he's holding on to and she's on his leg and he can't walk and i walk by and i'm giggling so hard and i say and he was probably like some help <laughs> i said happy father's day <laughs> <laughs> an asshole thing to say. <laughs> I would have done it too. <laughs> he bust out taking a picture. <laughs> it was like it snapped him out of the moment. And he started laughing. He had to realize how chaotic. Like, this is chaos. Like he was so tuned out of everything else that was going around. He was just trying to walk. And she Please. Was, she was not having it. That is hilarious. And so I just giggle. I never stopped moving. I just giggle and I said, Happy Father's <laughs> It took mm. a must be so mm. You'll be all right. Because so many times you see mothers mm. wrestling with the kids. Struggling, fighting for a damn life. Daddy out. And and Pops Whatever. is somewhere carrying one bag, <laughs> whistling Dixie. It did feel like like sweet balance. <laughs> we need more balance in the world. We need more balance. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let's move on to something that's not kid friendly. <laughs> Reasonable doubt. That ain't kid friendly. It's all. <sighs> Smut on TV is I was about to say, it was, it was yeah. soft porn. It was like medium I don't know porn. that show is rated. Do they rate TV shows? They do. They do. How come I feel like people don't it talk about rating on TVs? Like they do it was movies. definitely way past TV 14. That was, much I damn sure It was know. good nasty, but it was nasty. It was definitely, because there was that one scene where they were having a threesome. Girl. Or even when, she, when the very first time. She slept with Michael Ealy's character, mm -hmm. and she knew the ex-husband was watching. That wasn't even Michael Ealy's no. character. That what was, was that? the security dude that he hired for her. He was supposed to was watch like, over oh, her. You send a security dude to my home. Now to watch, watch what I do with him. Now, now watch me. Show. Watch me work. <laughs> and, I was like, and he did right on the couch. Girl. My lord, front row and center. I don't know what kind of relationship they had. Um, but he sat there and watched the whole thing yes, in its entirety. I said, y'all need counseling. Because <laughs> I'm concerned about everybody involved. She put on a show and she had an audience. She, she was did. hoping. She was counting my on God. having an audience. She was like, okay, this one's for you, my guy. <laughs> Get all into it. Um, I don't remember when it came out, but it was not it was a long last time ago. Year. No, it was a long time ago. I'm going to assume. It's been, it's been long enough that I was surprised that it came back. Like, oh, it's not canceled. Okay. Because. Uh, was it the strike? You know, I think I think it was twofold. I think it might have got caught up in the pandemic. Mm. Maybe the pandemic and the strike might yeah, be that, the issue. I think I because it was so good. The ratings were spectacular mm -hmm. off the break. There was no reason for them to cancel it. Now, not to say that they wouldn't have, but the ratings were black black. amazing. So I was excited that not only are we getting a season two, it drops on August 22nd. Soon. So soon, soon. I'm excited about that. On Hulu. What kind of smuts do you guys have so, in store for us? If y'all have not watched a uh, uh, you got time to catch without, up. One season, you can make quick work of it. Absolutely. Um, Emmy Yatsi Coronaldi is a newish actor. Yeah. So I don't know if she's been in anything else. Yeah. Her husband in there. I only remember him from um. Mm, the Blacks, girl. 
The black. Oh. Shit. Oh. I don't. I, our kind of people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> that show is based on a book. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Of the same name. <laughs> Our kind of people, and it's about the Jack and Jill blacks and just kind of dissension and separation. I in used the black to call community. it the black ass people. That's why I'm black was in my head. <laughs> well, she can never get the title right. Here's the thing, Bella. Our kind of people. That's it. No, the people, the black ass people. When you make a title that's so wordy, <laughs> it doesn't register with me, oh, and so Lord. I try, but I don't succeed. It's okay because I speak Mimi. <laughs> It's fine. I need to come with a little caption <laughs> across the bottom. It's cool. So he was the baby daddy in that. Y'all. And I'm sure he's been other, and no offense, some low budget black movies. I wish they would bring that back. But that was actually really good. I enjoyed and it. And I really like Yaya. Yeah. As an actor. I did. I did. I enjoyed, I, I, I enjoyed that one too. They, yeah. I felt like they could have kept it going. So I don't know what else he's been in, and I don't even know that man's name. But uh, Michael Ealy is in it. Was. Is I was about to say. Was in it. Was. Um, he was in it for all of the first yeah, season. Yeah, the okay, he won't come back from the second season. No, he's not going to survive that. Uh, <laughs> he was in all of the first season. And I don't know the security guard's name, but he was fine. He was fine, fine. I don't and know what they name. did was like, if you are a good looking black man, we would like to have you on this show. Mm -hmm. And God bless whoever does this, the casting. Thank you. So much. So from the bottom uh, of my heart and my parts. What is her name? Jax. Jax is so Jax is the star of the show. She's a bomb black mm -hmm. woman. She's an attorney, mm -hmm. and she eat these men up, honey. And she I eat them love up. that she is like chocolatey brown. Yes, and they didn't she fly get as they didn't get like a light skinned yes. palatable, mm -mm. you know, Hollywood black mm -mm. woman. No. They got them a beautiful chocolate yeah. sister, and she be tearing them. The fuck She's a man eater. Up. I love it. It's a spectacular I lesson in life <laughs> to watch it. her just eat. I mean, and that she's such a complex character. Yes, yes. I love that. She's so smart. Much. She's so calculated. But she she's can so be vulnerable. Edgy. She's spontaneous. She's a mom. Like, she's a mom. Like, it's a lot, yeah. and I love that. She, it's she's so very layered. layered. Yeah, yeah. I which love is it so much. which is definitely on par yeah. for us as Black women yeah. as a whole. So. And I love that that yeah. we, we're getting all of that, and not just and we get to see her it. dynamic with her mother. Which is chaotic as it's, well. <laughs> mm. That's also on par. <laughs> True that. True. <laughs> so you get to see all of that, but it is an incredible show. It yeah. is executive produced by Carrie Washington. Oh, uh, did I know that? I feel like you should have. Because there was, um, I want to say some behind the scenes content. Yes. Back during when it we first did. came out. I, uh, what is it called? Samson Street, I think is her production company. Carrie is getting a check over here. Over and here. a check over here. Yes, because Unprisoned drops on Hulu on July 1st. Yes. And John Stamos. Is, is, is she executive producing that one? I think well? so. Okay. Yeah. And I know. Yeah. She's definitely behind the scenes because it's her. Uh, her production company. Yeah, production company. She's starring in it. We get out. We already talked about the old balls, but Del Roy's mm, back. Del Roy, it ain't no a prison without Del Roy. It's not. It's but not. we get Uncle Jesse this time. John I Stamos. saw that. It looks like he's their family therapist. Yeah. <laughs> that is so the <laughs> preview. I was like, sir, please. <laughs> Please. I wouldn't have guessed that. But I'm that. very excited about but Uncle Jesse. But I think that's a nice... First and of all... he will always be Uncle Jesse. Unprisoned is a uh, United Nations kind of show. It is. It stars it is Delroy definitely. and Carrie, who are black. But the United it, Colors of Yes, Africa, her sure. sister is Asian. The stepmother... <laughs> if you will, was white. Mm -hmm. Her baby daddy. Her is baby clearly daddy white. is white. Yeah, you, you get a little bit and of everything. And she brings up what you and I talk about frequently when her dad was like, oh, you're dating a black dude? I never thought. Um, and she was like, well, what did you expect? You moved me to the Midwest. With all these white with all these people. White people. They ain't that many like, black people yet. What did you expect me to fall yeah. in love with? And so we talk about that often. Like, if that's what you're surrounded by, especially that's, in your teen years. Yeah, that's what you got to the hormones are hormoning. Girl, they be hormoning. <laughs> and all you see is this Dutch looking, <laughs> Dutch. blonde haired, blue eyed Sven. You can't be. That's what you're going to 
<laughs> you cannot be surprised that yeah. your child then yeah. ends up with the very person like, they have grown you, up yeah. with because you put them in that that's situation. What you put them yeah. in the midst of that. For sure. So, but yeah, it's it's a another layer. I, yeah. Oh, another layer. So, she's so layered. A different perspective of black women because we're oh, not yeah. a monolith. No. We're not all the same. This, this is this the exact is, opposite. Yeah, this is a different kind oh, of lady, yeah. but still quite entertaining. <laughs> oh, hilariously. And I have seen season one at least five or six times. That's funny. If I need something to watch, I might just put it on because it I'm going to have to rewatch funny. before the new one comes out. Oh, yes. To get caught up. Now, for a uh, reasonable doubt, Emmy Yahtzee gave us, uh, I swear that was a one minute recap. Yes, yes. <laughs> so if if you've watched the show, Reasonable Doubt. It was a doubt, good recap. Though. And you need a recap, go to Hulu's Instagram. Emmy Yahtzee Coronali, the star of the show who plays Jax, gives an amazing, really, really quick one minute synopsis of the first season. And she hits every single point. She does. She does a really good job. And it's honestly, truly, if you've never watched the movie and you watch the recap, mm -hmm. I, I feel like it definitely will. No, but you gotta watch. You, gotta you, watch. you have to watch, but I think if you watch the recap, it's gonna make you wanna watch. Yeah. Because you're like, girl, what? Girl, what did you what, say? What happened? How did we get here? And, yeah. and what happened? Yeah. Yes. Also because, uh, what's his name? Dude that I was, Sean, Sean something? What is from he Save doing? the Last Dance? He was oh, the oh yes, what uh Patrick? What is that man's Patrick? name? No, his is it mm. Sean Patrick? That might be it. I don't know. Yeah, from Save the Last Dance. Well, he was in Save the Last Dance. He's the only black. And I ain't never day. liked that man. Uh, that <laughs> speaks to his acting because I have been mad at him for years, and I'm not even sure that I can there pinpoint the reason. There <laughs> are some people. Sanaa Lathan is like that for me. I watch a lot yeah. of stuff with her in it. But I think she's just the same in everything. She is. Her and Kimberly at least. The family that the praise. Uh, I wanted to drag physically drag uh, her. She got emotionally dragged. Oh my god. But it was. Yeah. yeah and he, said, he smacked oh. her. But that wasn't enough. <laughs> That was not enough. Oh no. <laughs> but when she was like, my son is Cartwright. Cart right. Girl, Girl, what? And then you thought that he was going to choose you? You thought you ate with that as the children was saying. You did not eat that. You, you left not. too many crumbs. You did not oh, eat. No. I, so I saw brown sugar, mm -hmm. obviously, before that. Okay. So she was already in my hort. Oh. So they could not make me hate her. But also, it's a Tyler Perry movie. So <laughs> I can't really take it that Honestly, seriously. truly, that is one of his best It is movies. one of his better movies. And The Family That Praise is so different from his yeah. typical It's one films. of his better movies. If but you didn't I think know, my you favorite storyline, though, in the movie is Kathy Bates and uh, Alfred uh, Woodard. Alfred Woodard. Oh, yeah. So I'm not really yes. paying attention yeah, to yeah, anyone yeah. else. Yeah. Because I'm so They are the stars on the yeah. of the show. If they are the yeah. Elma and Louise I of the whole thing. But situation. they are a group. I didn't, I didn't know we needed. How did we get here? The two of them? How did we put them oh together? Oh, my God. They are But it was hilarious. so good. But it made me feel like they were like like besties in real yeah, life. In real life. Like, yeah. they played it so well. That is probably Tyler Perry's best. Yeah, yeah. I would say. And the contrast yeah. in their personality seems true to who they mm -hmm. are outside mm -hmm. of Hollywood. Like, if I met them in person, I imagine them to have those kind of personalities. You know who else I hate? And I don't know his name. He played Charles um, in the Tyler Perry uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. I ain't seen it. Jesus Christmas. Never what mind. else was Charles in? Hell if I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like 500 people in that movie. He was the one that was abusing Kimberly Elise. He was rich. They were married. Was he, he light-skinned? No, he's a chocolate man. Chocolate bald he's man. Chocolate. What else? He's got like big nostrils and... He's not the one from lips. Why Did I Get Married? No. I don't know what else he was in. I'm trying to think. But baby, let me tell you something. I might have drowned him. <laughs> I have drowned him. I'm trying to... Is there someone else? And I when the police someone? came, I'd have been like, yep. It was I good. did it. I don't know. I'd do it again, officer. He was I terrible. Despise. He was a terrible, awful. Uh, now, I don't necessarily despise him, but the, the people on the internet despise um, Jill Scott, the dude I thought she was talking about. Jill Scott oh, has yeah, been, yeah. why did I get married? Yeah, I mean, I don't reason. like him. Um, there's a lot I of... I feel like he plays the same type of character and everything. You know who I in. don't like? Also, Terrence Howard. Yes. But... Because are um, you an asshole in real life? I, I, okay, so here's the conundrum for me. Is it a light skin? I dislike him in everything except for the best man. He is fucking hilarious in the best he's man. He's hilarious, but he's an asshole. He is, but it balances out the group. I didn't like him until the series. 
Because he got some oh. sex. Oh, but I like, I, he softens up with Mia. Mm. In in the holiday one. Oh, see, I only saw that one time. Oh, I've seen it a bunch of times. No, it was sad. I cried and I cannot watch it again. Oh, I watch it a million times. The trauma. Times. I, I watch it. I watch it like I watch it during the summer. Even though I watch Christmas movies all year round. Uh, same, um, as, you, as you know. Yes. Hallmark Christmas in July has started early this year. I'm very sad. <laughs> okay, I'm usually watching the black Christmas movies. No, mm -hmm. I watch it this Christmas all year long. Um, the best man I saw, holiday. I saw it like one. Uh, well, oh, no. Girl, I could, I could quote the, the because, cast lines. Why is he in this church singing this secular ass song and everybody's going along with it? Yeah, don't try to pull the wool over my head. Church no. devil and dabble. Listen, uh, they wasn't dabbling and dabbling. <laughs> I said, this is secular ass Final hell. Final tenderness. And, and I know them church mothers, <laughs> what they know at least, <laughs> was not going for this shit. <laughs> I said, this is unbelievable. <laughs> now I'm not buying it. To the contrast of, uh, shit, what was it? Loretta Divide mm. is someone I love. I don't care yes. what she is. She is somebody's is. mother and or grandmother and everything. And I love Nori it. loves the series Family Reunion. Yes. She I like it as well. Like, yes. She's just so lovable. I loved her she in is. Doc McStuffins. Like, even animated. She was hilarious. She's always oh, Doc just, McStuffins. She's lovingly witty and sassy. Mm -hmm. And I love that about yeah, her. Her laugh is, is infectious. Sassy is definitely the word for her. For <laughs> she's, sure. She's, or even when she was <laughs> shaking that ass when she was walking away from Gregory Hines and waiting oh, yeah, she, she was like, Is he watching? Is <laughs> he watching? <laughs> Love, love, love her. You know what? I first hated Terrence Howard in Lackawanna Blues. With S.E. Oh Pate the Merkinson. Oh, my God. Love, love, love that movie. Uh, Macy Gray is in it. Who else is in it? Uh, the dude who... I can't remember his name. He was in the movie Life. I don't know his name. Mm -hmm. Um, it she, He, oddly enough, Terrence Howard was her husband. Hmm. He wasn't shit. He, he was a shit. womanizer. He was a drunk. In literally every And that is how I fell in love with, oh shit, I met him in real life. His name escapes me. Him and Barack went to school together. The, Light skin the... actor. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all are killing me. Oh, know. please. No, I cannot go on. What is know. that? You know, I like He's Terrence so Howard best. And what? In, uh, the lights and best. Not that he was the best. Um, in, what's the, the one... Where he was a pimp with Taraji. Oh, Hustle and Flow. Hustle and Flow. The movie I've never seen. Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. <laughs> I know. Kentucky. I know. Prince of Kentucky. Uh huh. Was in that. I think oh, yes, that was yes, like yes. a breakout yeah, role, I, I, wasn't it? Now that I didn't know, only because I've seen like the promos and the pictures oh, okay. and stuff like that. Um. Okay, wait. What is his name? Oh, Most Def was also in A Lack of Wanna Blues. Lou Gossett Jr. was, I told you, Macy Gray, Terrence Howard, Ernie Hudson, <laughs> Del Roy Lindo, Ernie Rosie Hudson. Perez. Wait, that's not who I'm talking about. Where is he? He was the little... He was a Ghostbuster. He was... Yes. He was a little boy in the movie. And he grew up in... Oh, Jeffrey Wright was also in that movie. Definitely that's forgot about it. Hill Harper. I could not remember oh. his name. Him mm -hmm. and Barack went to school to college together. Okay. Um, He's in it. <laughs> And he's a little boy in it, and S.C. Pate the and her character, um, she got, she kind of run like, it's not a halfway house, but like a group home. Like, mm -hmm. she take in people who don't have places to go. Terrence Howard is her husband, and she's raising Hill Harper. Mm -hmm. He's a little itty bitty boy. I want y'all to know, this is how but... our conversations go. Cause we didn't start on this topic. <laughs> no, we didn't. It's like a murder board. You got to be able to track how this goes, because we are, <laughs> the conversation is going to take a turn. We gonna come back though. We, gonna... we always come back. We always come back. But we are gonna take you on a journey. We are <laughs> every single time. This Stick is, with us. We're going places. This is regular conversation for us. <laughs> this episode was sponsored by Oshi oh, Bougie. You can grab your merch at oshibougie.com and follow on social at shop Oshi oh, Bougie. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Mimi Said What. BB22, you know what that means. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you can follow me at Mimi Cute Lips everywhere on social. And you can follow my bougie bestie at The Style Medic everywhere on social. Until next time, cuties. Bye.